Hi, my name's Ian Goodwin. Uh, I work for Agriculture Victoria and I'm based at the Tatura Smart Farm. I lead one of the projects in PIPS3, which is about a Apple systems and Apple um, technology. And today, what I'm uh, here, I'm in the sundial, what we call the sundial orchard, which is an experimental um, orchard where we're looking at different row orientations and the effects of light on colour development. And um, what specifically I'm looking at today is uh, what we call a trunk dendrometer. Uh, the purpose of this particular instrument is to assist us with irrigation scheduling, the timing of irrigation, whether the trees are water stressed, whether they need more water. So it's a very useful tool to try and determine um, you know, when and how much water to apply. Uh, what it consists of is that there's a, a sensor here obviously attached to the trunk of the the tree. It's a very young tree as you can see by the diameter of it. Um, the, the sensor is uh, just underneath this stainless steel housing here and there's a, a little armature that has a plastic button on it that sits on the trunk of the tree and what happens is that measurements are being continuously taken of the diameter of the tree and um, of course what happens during the day is that the trunk actually shrinks as the tree starts to transpire water and then at night it expands again so you get this cycle of up and down in the in trunk diameter during the during a day now the critical thing is that um, as a tree starts to run out of water starts to get stressed it starts to shrink more and more right so you'll see this sort of this sort of um, pattern emerging where every day it's getting um, there's more and more shrinkage and then when the tree gets really st stressed it actually doesn't recover that night so you, 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 your total diameter is actually going slightly backwards and you see the shrinkage getting uh, greater and greater and then the recovery is less and less. So that's your real big indicator of whether the tree's stressed and needs, you know, needs to be irrigated with more water. Um, this sensor is actually hooked up to a, a LoRa system, which is basically this box here. It communicates, in other words, sends the data onto a, um, onto a cloud via lower uh, um, frequency um, data and um, uh, it just gets picked up on a dashboard on a on a computer so on a laptop computer or whatever you can actually visualize the data and see it instantaneously the way we use this for irrigation decisions is that we can look closely at the data and change our irrigation schedule so what we do in this particular orchard it's an experiment but we still have to irrigate these trees is we base the irrigation on on the weather for a start so we use what's called a crop coefficient and reference crop evapotranspiration to calculate how much water the trees need then we use this data to adjust those irrigation run times and irrigation intervals so in other words if if we start to see stress on the trees we would uh, decrease the interval between irrigations and probably increase the amount of total water that we're applying as well. So it's, it's all about precision irrigation. It's all about doing it better with the technology we've got available.